<laughs> ah, look at this, look at this. <laughs> this is a package of orchids from Dana Mosanu. <laughs> Dana, look, it arrived. We have a neighbor that is always eager to help me out with my mail, although I don't ask for that kind of help, but yeah. Went to the post office this morning and I got me some orchids, Dana. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. So excited, so excited. I know what's in here. We talked about it before. I'm expecting a cute little dendrobium that's like a hibiki, but in white, bigger blooms, super fragrant. And I'm expecting my first jewel orchid, Ludicia something or other. <laughs> And I'm expecting a Prostechia radiata. And seeing as my Prostechia lancifolia is doing very, very well, I said yes to all three. Well, the Ludicia, we're gonna have to wait and see. I've never grown that before. I don't know if I have enough humidity or warmth in the winter for it. And I'm fully prepared with either Greek yogurt tubs, hob material, or my fandangle fancy ICU little half soda pop bottles. Okay, wind, wind puppies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. Dana, thank you so much for giving me this anticipation. I'm super, super curious about this little Lodesia jewel orchid. Oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. We slow down. When we have a visual, oh, we, we slow down. Hello, baby. Hello. I think you should be all right during the summer. <laughs> At least we can try and get her established. Oh my goodness. My daughter said to me this morning when I picked that, uh, we had a coffee outside the post office and she said, are you not going to open it? And I said, no, I don't want everything to happen here. And then she said, oh, yes, you have to do an unboxing. I was, oh, yes, I do, don't I? My brain had gone completely tilt, you know? New orchids and um, <laughs> somehow something doesn't function properly in the head. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. Woohoo! Super excited. Let's have a look-see. Still nice and damp, Dana. It's just a teeny tiny baby little cutting. Oh, she pretty. She pretty, pretty. Okay. You, I think, are best off in one of these. Although, I'm gonna have to cut it. So we're gonna have to make some modifications to those bottles just to cut it in half because I don't wanna always be reaching in so far. So I have a wider rim here, so for now, you go in here and I can water you in just a tad, just a little bit so that the moss can soak up. This is a hundred parts per million. 60 is cow mag, 40 is seaweed at 6.5, 6.7 pH because of the sphagnum moss that they were coming in. So it was good to know that in advance. Judging by the size of this packet, this is the dendrobium. I'm also going to link Dana's Instagram in the description where she has a picture of her dendrobium in bloom. So that's gonna be in my description, her image of on Instagram because this is the cutest and white big blooms compared to the size of this dendrobium which doesn't get very much bigger than this. Like I said, hibiki kind of cute, compact, and to my understanding, very, very vigorous, which is awesome. She had a specimen size that she has separated, and that specimen size was quite the impressive size orchid, and uh, that gives me hope. <laughs> my dendrobium hibiki has competition. I know, it's hard to believe, huh? Also, still damp, Dana. Good, not soaking wet, just slightly damp. Perfect. Ah, you guys. Isn't this just the cutest? Look, what a division. Oh, that is enormous. 
She is going to be off to a great start. Oh, I am excited. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Dana. <laughs> Let's put you in here. And also welcome you to Spain with a cocktail. Yay. <laughs> Smiling so hard, my face hurts. <laughs> okay, this is the Prostechia then. Who doesn't like a nice smelly orchid? Nice. They are so fragrant and I love it when mine blooms. But you can't have enough of that fragrance, especially if you can grow it outdoors. She sent me a puzzle as well, this shredded paper. <laughs> I, can, I can get in there and uh, try to piece it all together, you know? Okay, oh look, thank you for that notice. Thank you, Dana. Take care, new growth with an arrow, thank you. Very, very helpful. I should try to remember that when I send my orchids with new growth. I normally just put it in the letter, but I'm not that specific. That's awesome. All right. We have been warned. We have been warned. So we'll just take it off in the middle. Love me some Prostechia pseudobulbs. Ooh. <laughs> there you are, new growth. There you are. I got you. I got you. Can I just pull you off? Super, super, super. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So excited. This is so special. And there's another eye in the back here. I was actually thinking of dividing my Prostechia cochleala variety Lancifolia this year as well. So I'm not surprised that you have such a fantastic division. Wow. Let me get rid of my hob material. This is wrapped in the good stuff. I present you Prostechia radiata. Beautiful, beautiful look. Oh, you can't, just can't miss Prostechia pseudobulbs. Ah, <sighs> big deep sigh, big smile. All right, let's 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 welcome you. <laughs> Gotta welcome you too. Let's get you weighed down a bit. Now that you've arrived safely, there's no having you blow over. Can you imagine coming all this way to Southern Spain? Ole! Bienvenido, orquídeas, a la nueva casa. Bienvenidos, orquídeas, a la nueva casa. This is a permanent vacation. <laughs> I'm just going to take this away. I'll be right back. Prostechia radiata in here. Isn't this cute? Dendrobium pocket lover together with my pocket rockets. <laughs> I got a pocket lover. Fabulous. And here we have Ludicia discolor variety negrescence right here and this is what i've done with it tiny little tub but i think it's best this way it's got aeration and a lot of humidity around it anyway and i don't have to go digging for it and i want to show you something on the prostechia radiata because i found this super interesting dana told me that she used gentian violet on the prostechia division you see that Gentian violet. The last time I ever saw this stuff, as I used to call it, was when I had ringworm in Kenya. And yeah, it pretty much took care of ringworm in Kenya. Oh no, let me correct that. The last time I used it on myself was ringworm in Kenya. But the last time I actually saw it was on my daughter, the back of her neck when she had a fungus from always picking up stray cats that also carry ringworm. But in her case, I had to go liberal with this gentian violet all along her neckline and up into the hairline where the fungus had spread. Needless to say, my daughter learned a lot of lessons by just always picking up stray cats. 
So isn't that interesting? I have never seen it used on Orchid, but why not? Why on earth not? It makes a lot of sense. It's a great alternative to Dragon's Blood. And if Dragon's Blood is not readily available, Gentian Violet, there we go. Thank you, Dana, for that inspiration as well. Okay, got to be a little bit careful here with that new growth now that I've pulled the orchid out. We'll settle her back in. They're all going to go inside with the others that are in full shade but bright light. And then we're going to see what happens. I have to observe my little pocket lover here. <laughs> When I pot him up, that everything is going to go according to plan. Hold on, hold on. Just a moment, I spy with my little eye. What have we got here? Let's take them all. There's two little pieces. Oh, sorry for that. La, 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 la. That looks like a root nubbin to me. So we're going to let them acclimate for a week. This one can get potted up in about a week's time. Let them settle in, not shock them again, like, hello, you've just arrived home and here I am doing whatever. This one will probably be potted up the moment I see roots and little one down here, same thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Dana, thank you so much for these gifts. Your name is on my tags. I shall never forget where they came from and neither will anybody else that comes into my collection because they're gonna say Romania hello Romania I say yeah I've got orchids from Romania and guess what these are a first so Dana muchas gracias from me to you for these gorgeous gorgeous presents and I so look forward to growing them and everybody else, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate you here. It is a beautiful day in southern Spain. I hope that you are having a beautiful day, no matter where you are in the world. However, one condition I do need to attach to that is that you please stay safe. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.